Um, so I'm here in my neighbor's garden, um, or I guess my garden in my neighbor's backyard. Garden annex, I like to refer to it as. Um, planted some beans over here. And I was just thinking about watching monarch butterfly um, and the resilience of nature. And you know, what can we do to add to that? What do we take away from that? Um, I guess I think, you know, being a strong woman is figuring those things out for yourself individually. So each person has their own talents, um, their own gifts, and how do you bring those to fruition into the world? And how do you have a voice um, for that to happen? And so I think that's where teaching self-defense um, ties in for me is it, takes a, it can take strength and energy and practice um, and confidence, and I guess a sense of self-worth as well, um, which I think personally I'm always sort of working on. Um, and so in teaching self-defense to, to other women, um, it's hard to do right now during the pandemic, um, but I think one of, the, one of the pieces of that isn't just physical defense, it's for me, it's always been even more about, I think you need to be able to defend yourself physically in order to be able to defend your ideas. Maybe that's not 100% true, but you need to sort of have faith in, in, in your ability to defend your ideas um, and your value and bring that to fruition. And to me, that's sort of the greater picture benefit of teaching self-defense, learning self-defense, sharing that because I want, I think women um, and all people um, who have been um, disenfranchised in some way, what if everyone could walk through the world in safety and share their gifts? You know, if you're spending all your time defending yourself, protecting yourself, um, it's hard to let your other attributes shine. So much energy goes into managing and controlling and um, what's around you and and that sort of underlying fear and I think if we can work towards that not being an everyday factor then I think there, there's greater chance for the world to succeed in so many ways um, because everyone has something to add and something to give and if you're unable to give that because your energy is being taken up with just ex existence then we're missing out on a lot of contributions from a lot of people that haven't been able to con contribute. So I guess that sort of ties in, you know, I'm in the garden talking about self-defense, you know, the, the paintings that Krista did. Um, it was pretty cool. I really, they're very different paintings. Um, and it's, it's interesting to see yourself from that outside sort of view, that outside perspective. Um, and then to have, you know, a friend sort of honor that with their, with their gift and um and to honor women in that way and then even just to see you know for me to see the show and to see all the other women that krista painted and all their different gifts and all their different relationships and value and them just living their lives um was really quite incredible um just you know in, in the way that we all have those incredible women in our lives and and we should celebrate each other a little more, I think. Um, because again, so many women spend so much time just managing, um, just, to, just to survive or to get along, to get through the day. And so, you know, I think if we can celebrate each other a little more, um, celebrate the positives, that just allows for more creativity, more um, productivity, more contributions, more solving of problems, um, real problems, deep problems that we have um, you know, in this country and around the world and with our environment. Um, so yeah, so I think I think that was pretty powerful. And then you know, for including you know upcoming generations as well, um, and a variety of women. Um, it's pretty cool.